can't take this anymore I gotta respond to this guy I might get through the whole video it's like 10 minutes long I probably won't so it'll probably end up being a couple parts if that but I'm gonna go through the first few minutes of this video anyway and address what I have time to address because this feller I've been trying to ignore him because his arguments are so lame and stupid but he makes some arguments in this and, and directly challenges me so it's time for some ownage and that way people open it up people now what he's doing, he's playing my video and letting us listen to what I'm saying, and then he's going to, you know, he's going to have a rebuttal. So he's pushed play on my video, and that's what we're listening to in the background is me talking. Okay? But don't know no better. They have a browser, so they don't know to go search for anything else. So they use that one. It's the same thing with Flash. I know you guys will disagree with me, and I know some of y'all think Apple is as bad as Google or anybody else in certain regards when it comes to certain things, but Apple. Apple puts restrictions on its products, okay? And if you don't like those restrictions, if you don't like the experience, then you don't have to use those products. They don't unless, of course, H. Unless, of course, H.264 becomes the video standard for the Internet. Then, of course, we'll all have to use Apple products. And you know what? If that happens, it would not surprise me if the only way you can get streaming video to work with Firefox would be to install iTunes. <laughs> does this statement does it does it clarify who I'm dealing with here? Okay, for one, do your research. H two six four is not Apple's. Apple don't own it. Okay, and it's not free. Okay, in 2016, I think the the, the license runs out. The free license runs out, or and and they might be working on expanding that. But the bottom line is H two six four is not Apple's. You know, so switching to H.264 is not switching to Apple products, okay? It's just the codec that Apple has decided to embrace. And and let's just assume Apple did own H.264. Switching to H.264 is a lot smoother video experience than Flash, as far as I'm concerned. But with H.264, you don't get the interactiveness, Okay, so here you're talking about replacing Flash with H.264, and in a way you can, but you can't either, okay? That's why YouTube is going to HTML5 or got an HTML5 beta. I mean, it's not as easy as just replacing all the Flash content on the web with H.264 content. It's not going to, it don't work that way, man. I don't understand what you're saying. You wouldn't be surprised if you have to install iTunes to stream video? What are you talking about? Now you're just talking completely out your fucking ass. If you don't like iTunes, uninstall it. Okay? I don't understand what you're what, what you're talking about here. This just sounds to me like you're just trying to make an argument for the sake of making an argument. Talk about trying to kill Linux and Mozilla in a single blow. How is that? How is how is H.264 trying to kill Mozilla and Linux in a single blow? You're delusional, dude. There's something... Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't even know what to say to that. I mean, <laughs> if you really believe that, then Jesus Christ, man, I don't know what to tell you. Oh. <coughs> uh, the, uh, that's not a new open standard. That's setting the internet backwards 15 years. No, H.264 is not an open standard. I don't... I, and I don't consider Flash an open standard. Do you think Flash is an open standard? Do you? <laughs> because if you do, you're more, you're more uneducated than I thought. Force their products on you. But Adobe going out and filing objections against HTML5? Microsoft putting IE on all the computers? You know, stuff like that? Well, okay, uh, Amy... This is an official question to you. I doubt she'll answer it, because as of late, you haven't been taking my video responses, and every time somebody agrees with one of my comments about why you're full of shit, you instantly become annoyed and take offense and rant about... Oh. Of course I take offense and rant, because I've never received one of your comments. That was nice. Aren't you people too stupid to read or agree or listen to what I said? But this is an official challenge to you. Bring it, baby. Bring your official challenge. And let me shove it down your throat for you. Why is it wrong for Microsoft to install IE on all Windows systems by default, 
but it's okay for Apple to install Safari on all Apple systems by default. Okay, now let me explain this to you. See, this is the type of person I'm dealing with here. Now let me try to explain this to you, man. Okay, now listen carefully. IE, Microsoft got in trouble for bundling IE on all the computers. It's a fact. They got in trouble with the law. It's, it, this, this is not something I'm making up. Now, do you want to know why? Why that's different than, than, than what Apple's doing? Okay, let me explain it to you. Because IE comes on all HPs, comes on all gateways, comes on all Acers, comes on all Lavinos, comes on all ThinkPads. Is there a computer manufacturer out there that isn't monopolized by IE besides Apple? Apple makes everything that Safari is installed on, Apple makes. Apple builds, it makes it, it designs it, it's its hardware. So it puts its own operating system on its hardware. Now, if Apple went out and made a deal with HP, Sony, Lavino, Gateway, if they went out and made a deal with all the PC manufacturers to put Safari on the computer from factory and remove every other browser, then they would get in trouble too. But don't you understand? Apple is just installing Safari on their own machines. Microsoft was installing AE on everybody's machine. The same with Windows. You could not get a PC and without having IE. Now see, if there was only one PC maker, if Microsoft made their own PC and Microsoft decided to put IE on all their own PCs, that would be fine. But when IE gets put on HP's PCs, Gateway's PCs, all the manufacturers' PCs, it's called a monopoly. You see? So, it's called ownage! Ownage! You see? When you put your browser on everybody's computer to where nobody has a choice but to see your browser when they buy a computer, no matter what brand, the only option people have to not get IE is to buy an Apple, okay? That is a monopoly. When IE comes on every single brand name PC that you buy, that is a monopoly. You cannot go out and buy a Windows PC without getting IE bundled. That is trouble. Apple only puts Safari on its own machines. It don't put them on everybody's machines. See, people have a choice. If you don't like Safari, don't buy an Apple. Go buy an HP. But, what if you don't want IE bundled on your machine? What choice do you have? HP bundles it. Sony bundles it. All the computer manufacturers bundle it. So you have no choice. You take IE because they shove it down your throat. Okay? You can say, well, if I want a Mac, i got to use Safari. Yeah, but you don't have to use a Mac, you see what I'm saying. You don't have to buy, you don't have to buy an Apple and use their stuff. It's not like... Firefox or IE is bundled on every Macintosh and IE and Firefox is bundled on every PC. It's not like that. So if you went out to get a PC, you wouldn't have a choice in the matter, okay? But the only manufacturer of PCs that carry Safari are Apple's. Yeah, Apple might be different than a PC, but they're still computers. They're still personal computers that still do about the same thing. And the only personal computer you can buy with Safari on it are Apple's personal computers. The only personal computers you can buy with IE on it is everybody else, see? So, this is the monopoly aspect of it. Why is it right for Apple to do it, but wrong for Microsoft to do it? I just explained that to you. I'm not defending IE, I'm just... What's the difference, really? I just told you. <laughs> it's just bullshit. I think a long, long time ago, people started grabbing about Apple bundling QuickTime with iTunes, maybe. When you downloaded iTunes, you got QuickTime. But what people didn't understand, and Apple stopped doing that too. The option if I don't like Flash is other streaming protocols. Duh, can you name one? 
<laughs> oh yeah! Woo! Yeah. And I never called Flash a monopoly. What are you talking about? There are plenty of other real-time streaming protocols. Yeah, and that's what makes Flash not a monopoly because people have a choice. With IE, people didn't have a choice. The only choice they had to use a different browser was when they got the computer home. And that's if they knew about a different browser. Half the ignorant people in the world didn't even know about any other browser than what come on their computer. Flash is not being forced down anyone's threat. No, Flash is not being forced down anyone's throat. Just like Windows isn't being forced down anyone's throat. I mean, ultimately, you have a choice. But the tactics that Adobe is using to try to reinforce Flash on the Internet, I don't agree with. I, there's better alternatives, and Adobe doesn't want that. You know, and, and from Adobe's standpoint, hey, I get it. I get it. Adobe, that, that, that's, that's part of Adobe's bread and butter, and they're not going to give that up easily, okay? But them being a monopoly, no, 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 I don't think they're being a monopoly. I just think they're trying to control the streaming content on the web is what I think they're trying to do. I think they're trying, that's what I think, they're, it's all about control. It's not really about a monopoly, okay? Because people complain, but QuickTime is important to, to, to iTunes, I suppose, and... I admit that they shouldn't have been putting a download into a package without telling people about it. That broke through to my computer. They so many years it. I can't hear what he's saying. I'm sorry. He's trying to talk over me, and I can't understand him. Right. That, yeah, this is another fucking thing. He wants everyone... It's like he hates Google for trying to take over the Internet, but he wants Apple to be in charge of everything. I don't want... Apple to be in charge of everything? When did I ever say I wanted Apple to be in charge of everything? Now you're putting words in my mouth. I'm an Apple fan. I love Apple. I think they make great products. And yes, I would love to see them have a dominant position in the industry over a lot of these other players. But I'm not advocating a monopoly with anybody because Apple has its control issues and a lot of people like that. A lot of people like uh, having not having to worry about a lot of stuff. Uh, and, and not having that openness, they have that control, and a lot of people don't. Okay, but the, but the, the main thing I'm saying here is people have a choice, and if Apple ruled everything, people wouldn't have a choice. Okay, and I'm not for that. I'm all for people having a choice. I'm just wanting for people when they make that choice to choose Apple. If Apple's going to get a dominant position in the market, I want them to do it by their own merits because people buy the computers and they make good computers. Not because they force it down everybody's throat. <laughs> you know what? If I had to choose my benevolent... All and, and, and let's just talk about this for a minute. Let's just assume that I do want Apple to take over instead of Google. <laughs> Which I don't. But what you don't understand about the difference between Apple and Google is Google owns everything, every little bit of information about you they just about know. I mean, they, they, they stockpile information on people. Now, I'm not saying Apple don't do this, but Apple is not making records of everywhere I've surfed. They do not have control of my email, okay? They don't have control. It's completely, completely a different, a different thing. Google is controlling our Internet experience. Our Internet experience wouldn't be changed in the least if Apple decided to close shop. I really don't think our internet experience would be changed in the least. Maybe our music experience, our, our video experience, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that would be changed, getting online and buying music. But as far as surfing the web and stuff, our experience wouldn't be that changed. Now, if Google closed shop, I would be wondering, okay, now they've closed their doors. What have they done with all this goddamn information that they've got on everybody? Do we just trust them that they're going to do the right thing and get rid of it? I mean, come on, man. Google is not the same thing as Apple when it comes to internet experience. Apple doesn't have near doesn't have near the influence over your internet experience that Google does. All seen dictator to be in charge of me and my choice is between Apple and Google. Yeah. I would choose Google. Well you can choose Google all you want. That's your prerogative. That is your prerogative, okay? I don't trust Google. I trust Apple. 
I don't trust Google with all the information. I don't trust Google with them having my email. I don't trust Google with them knowing where I'm surfing. But for some reason, I trust Apple. You know? Shit, Apple don't talk about nothing. They don't even talk about their own fucking products. Okay? So I just trust Apple more than Google. So yeah, I would be in a more comfortable position for Apple to own the information that Google owns. Of the two, I'd rather have no benevolent dictator in charge of everything, but of the two, I think Google is less likely to give me the shaft. Less likely to give you the shaft. You see, what you don't understand is Apple tells you up front, this is what we want, this is what we're going to do, and if you don't like it and you don't want to do it, fuck you. Okay? But see, Google ain't like that. Google is sneaky. Google tries to tries to pretend that they're giving away everything for free because they just want to help out the community when in turn they're making a shitload off of ads and I can't stand a slimy fucking company that that just makes money off fucking ads okay okay I shouldn't say that I shouldn't say that there's nothing wrong with making money off ads but that's all Google's about that's all they're about is advertising. Everything they do, every move they make, every application they introduce, it's all about being able to run ads. That's what I feel. They don't give you a free service unless they throw in some ads. It's all about ads. Every video I go to on YouTube, ads. My videos, ads. And I've chosen to disable revenue on, on a lot of them. Um, but heck far, if they're going to make money off my videos, then I'm going to make money off my videos. They're not going to be the only ones making money on me. Fuck that. Okay? So, I, I, really, I really think this is a baseless argument. Based on the history of how they've done business. Yeah. Based on the history of how they've done business, I would rather trust my money with, with Apple. That's just, that's just me. That's just me. Google is a worthwhile investment. I'm sure that their stock price is unbelievable and all and it's going to go up and get better, but I've owned Apple stock for many years and it's never let me down and it's never really well, I've owned Apple stock since Jobs have come back and it's never really let me down. It's never it's never caused me any problems, so I can't speak from it. I I, I can't really speak from experience because I don't own Google stock. So I can't say I'd rather own Google stock than Apple stock. No, I would rather own Apple stock because it's what I got experience with. It's what I trust, it's what I know. And it's what I like. Apple is more likely to just say, oh, we're in charge now. <laughs> they show it to you. They say, take it or leave it. They don't whine, bitch, and moan, and complain when people won't use it. They just scrap it and move on. People want to talk about how the Apple TV, oh, the Apple TV is a fail. It's a joke. The Apple TV is not a fail. Apple is not in business to produce products that don't make them money. They are not... Actually, Apple is not in business to produce products that don't make the money immediately. What are you talking about? Apple has never been really good at playing the loss leader. Apple's never been playing never been good at playing the loss leader? What are you talking about? Which is kind of sad considering this is one of the more cash positive companies. Now they are more cash positive because they never play the loss leader. No, they don't play the loss leader. That's not their game. They're not going to lose money on a product to make it somewhere else. But that's the... Th that's Microsoft's business ethics. <laughs> I mean, come on. Apple does what they do, and they've been successful at doing what they do. They're not in business to produce products that make money on a secondary way of income. Thing. Google goes and loses billions of dollars on things, which is why I choose Google over Apple. Yeah, that's, that's why you choose Google over Apple, huh? <laughs> yes, that's why I choose Google over Apple because Google will lose billions of dollars on stuff. They're they're about making money in the way they make money. They're not about raping you. They're not about they're they're about making money in the way they make money. So which way do they make money, man? Which how does Google make money with Apple? Everything is transparent. You go to iTunes, you know they're making money. You buy a computer, you know they're making money. Okay? But Google is making money on ads that you don't even know is associated with Google. That's the most ridiculous argument I've ever heard in my life. Well, Google will just throw billions of dollars at something. They don't care if they lose. 
<laughs> you see, Apple don't do that. That's not good business sense to throw billions of dollars at something just to see if it'll work out for you, okay? Apple's not like that. And if you call, if you ask me, that's irresponsible. And if you want a company like that running the show, hey, more power to you. If you want a company that takes just a big ball of shit and throws it at the wall to see what sticks, that's your business. But I would rather have a company running things that's a little more methodical and a little more organized about stuff instead of just half-heartedly jumping into uh, a business and saying, oh, we're going to dominate this business and we're going to offer it for free and we're just going to charge ads. We'll make ad we'll make revenue on ads. Fuck Tom, Tom, Fuck Garmin. Let's just offer our service for free because we run ads everywhere. They don't. They don't have ads all over the Internet. Their only income is from their product. But... If we don't do good in this area, no big fucking deal because we've got billions of dollars coming in from ad revenue on the internet. So let's go into this market. Let's ruin these people who's been building this market for years. And if it works out for us, great. If it don't, don't. That's why I disrespect Google. This video has been going on long enough. I'll try to make a part two here later on this evening. And uh, I'll post it as soon as possible. OS 10.